Hi everyone, I'm Mark Wim and I'm reviewing the HTC Thunderbolt. It's the first device on Verizon that supports 4G LTE. This device is available now for $199 with a new contract or $599 without a contract. Let's start this review with an unboxing. So the box is just totally black with the back of the sleeve showing uh, the package contents, description. Under a certain light, you'll see Verizon on top and HTC at the bottom. We'll just slide the box out of the sleeve and you'll see the same thing. You'll see Verizon on top and HTC at the bottom. On the side of this box, you'll see HTC Thunderbolt under certain light. If we open this box, you'll start seeing the, the red contrast and Inside of the box is just big, bright red color. We'll take the phone out and take a closer look at that later on. We'll put that on the side. So inside of this box, you'll see documentation for the phone. You'll see um, the warranty info, user manual, right there. And, and what's left are the USB charger. That's basically it. There's no earphones or uh, any other cables included. So this is the HTC Thunderbolt. It's big and it is heavy. We'll compare that to another popular phone on Verizon, the iPhone 4. Just for a thickness comparison, that's the top. Uh, that's the side. And uh, right next to each other, The HTC Thunderbolt has a 4.3 inch capacitive touchscreen. It's a WVGA resolution that's 800 by 480. I've had this phone for only two weeks and I've already noticed a few scratches. So this is not made of Gorilla Glass which is a lot harder to, to scratch. At the bottom of the phone are capacitive touch buttons, home, menu, back, search. Very common in uh, Android smartphones. On the side, we have a micro USB port, volume rocker, I think that's one of the microphones. This phone has dual mics. On the back, we have an 8 megapixel camera, dual LED flash, and a kickstand. You could uh, see it like this. You could stand it up like that, or like that. There's also a 1 megapixel front camera here on top. If we open up this phone, we see that the HTC Thunderbolt has a 1400 milliamp battery. The Thunderbolt also has a 32 gig micro SD pre-installed, which is accessible right here. You have to take out the battery to get access to that port. And here at the bottom, this is new to Verizon, you get a 4G LTE SIM card with the phone. The HTC Thunderbolt also has a 1 GHz CPU and 768 megabyte of RAM. So that's the hardware aspect of the phone. We'll take a closer look at some of the software aspects. The HTC Thunderbolt runs on Android 2.2 with HTC Sense. There's uh, various of skins, themes, and scenes to customize your phone. Here's the scene here, which you could edit. Scenes are basically your profiles. You could change from social, HTC, work, play, and it rearranges your, uh, your apps depending on where you are. So if you're traveling, you want different clocks, or if you're at work, you want your agenda showing. And uh, so you could change that. There are also wallpapers that you could change, and it comes with plenty of uh, HTC wallpapers here. We also have skins. And that one you could change to um, change your bars to see how to change the, the notification bar, the bottom bottom section of the, the phone. There's metal and uh, black. I prefer uh, the HTC one. And HTC Sense also offers a lot of widgets that are 
some are useful and some aren't. We'll uh, show you here the HTC widgets that comes with the uh, HTC Sense. There's uh, bookmarks, calculator, we'll just scroll through, calendar, clock. I think my favorite here is the calendar. I think it's called Agenda. There's photo album, search anywhere. So that comes with HTC Sense. As long as you're using Android, there's a lot of other uh, widgets that you could use also. It's not just HTC. There's uh, other widgets that come with Android. Also on HTC Sense, it's a different kind of notification bar. If you uh, just drag down the notification bar, you notice that they show the latest applications that you opened up. It's going to show up here. For example, I'll go open up TweetDeck and I'll exit out. If I drag this down, you'll see that TweetDeck is going to show up on the applications that I recently opened. We'll take a look at the browser. If you open up the browser, you could go to bookmarks and you see thumbnails of your uh, your bookmarks. We'll click on TechMeme, that's my favorite site. And uh, there's Pinch to Zoom. And when you're zooming in, the text actually automatically wraps. So uh, that's very convenient right there. We'll click on a sample article here. This one is from the New York Times, and we'll zoom in, and you see that the text automatically wraps around the screen. So if I go bigger, you'll see that only a few of the words only show up. I don't know if this is uh, something that you like, but there's no option to turn this off. That's part of the browser. Also, what's annoying about this browser is it automatically goes on full screen mode. So as you may notice that on top, the notification bar disappears. To In order for it to show up, just click menu and notification bar shows up. So this is annoying because if, if you're browsing the web and you get a new email, you're not going to see your notification bar. You have to click menu in order for it to show up. As with all Android devices, the Thunderbolt supports Flash in its browser. Here's the Engadget website showing a YouTube embed in its website. We'll click play. And that's going to play within the web browser itself. So here's the camera on the HTC Thunderbolt. It's good in bright settings but very bad in low light. That's uh, very common in most camera phones anyway. But what I don't like is if you hold and press the camera button, it automatically takes the photo. That's very annoying because if you have a moving object and you want to focus on it first and releasing to take the photo, you can't, you can't do that here on the Thunderbolt. It also takes 720p HD video. And again, just like the camera, it takes good video in good lighting and pretty poor in low light. The battery life on the HTC Thunderbolt is pretty bad. From my normal usage, I get about five to six hours before I need to recharge. That's not really good. You might want to carry an extra battery or get the extended, extended battery, which makes the HTC Thunderbolt bigger than it, bigger than it normally is. And it's already pretty big. So that's the HTC Thunderbolt on Verizon. It's really fast when it comes to download and upload. Here in New York City, I get about 15 megabits down and three megabits up, but the battery is bad and the size is a lot bigger than uh, I want it to be. So that's the HTC Thunderbolt. I've had it for two weeks and I'm not that happy with it. I think I might return it. So uh, hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching.